Hi, everyone. I'm just waiting for my slides. There they are. So our lives are overstuffed. Our homes are overstuffed. Our computers are overstuffed. Our schedules are overstuffed. And this is actually my schedule. So it was Hobart on Monday, Melbourne on Tuesday, Canberra on Wednesday and Thursday, and then Sydney today, right this morning. Our inboxes are overstuffed by crab, <laughs> Groupon. And our food is overstuffed. And it just seems that the more that we try to make our lives less stuffed, the more stuffed it becomes. In the beginning, though, it wasn't like this. They live in a gentle world where nothing is as hard as rock or steel or concrete. Only 600 miles to the south, there's a vast city. Civilized man refused to adapt himself to his environment. Instead, he adapted his environment to suit him. So he built cities, roads, vehicles, machinery, and he put up power lines to run his labor-saving devices. But somehow he didn't know when to stop. The more he improved his surroundings to make his life easier, the more complicated he made it. And obviously we can't expect everyone to go back to that nomadic lifestyle, but I do believe that we can make our lives simpler than they currently are by creating technologies that are simple to use, technologies that are a conduit to our lives. Companies thrive when they can add value to our lives. Apple, for example, has been able to show us that by simplifying our lives, it can turn a huge profit. It can turn a video camera, a camera, a phone, and a dictaphone in one single device. And all that comes down to is single-serving single versus multi-serving devices. This is a scene that we're very familiar with in our homes, I, I'm sure. There's a TV remote control, the Foxtel remote control, the PlayStation remote control, the, the DVD player remote control, and the sound system remote control. One project that I'm currently working on is called Push Button. And what it does is it controls all those, the TV, the DVD, the PlayStation, the sound system, all into the one system, a simple iPad application. But not only does it control the entertainment system, but it also integrates the lights, the heating, the aircon, and, and even the blind system, all in that one simple interface. So it simplifies all those remote controls into the one simple device. As I was saying, it's all about single serving versus multi serving devices. Um, and I actually brought a robot along, which I forgot to bring up to stage, um, but I'll quickly go grab it. This is a Rubik's Cube solving machine. I built it, <laughs> and um, it's the first prototype, but the final prototype will use an Android phone instead of the NXT brain and instead of the color sensor here. Um, we'll use the Ar Arduino system for all the electronics and the servo motors, and I'll be using a 3D printer to create all the components. Um, so this is, and it does work, so if you want to see it, you can see me afterwards. Um, so this is a single serving device, it only does the one thing, which is solve the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> but something that I've created that's a lot more useful than this is um, a robot arm. And that's also a first prototype, but you can see just by looking at these devices that that obviously has a lot more applications than this. And so I think that's what we need in the future, more, more devices that can do uh, more things as opposed to just doing one thing. And so how do we create this future? To really drive technology forwards, we need kids to be creators and not just consumers of technology. So against the backdrop of less than 10% of engineers being female in Australia, and in the five years leading to 2011, 70,000 engineer, engineers retiring with only 45,000 engineering graduates to take their places, I founded an organization called RoboGals that aims to get girls interested in science, engineering, and technology careers. What we do is we bring Lego robot components to schools and we, get, we teach girls how to build them and teach girls how to program them. And we also tell 
girls about all the different exciting opportunities that they can pursue through an engineering degree. Since um, founding in 2008 with just one single chapter in Melbourne, we've grown to over 20 chapters in six countries around the world and taught over 4,000 girls. Another activity that we're doing with RoboGal is to encourage girls to be creators of technology is a science challenge where we encourage girls to find a mentor in their lives um, because that's very important, um, role models, mentors. Um, and we encourage girls to look in their community, in their homes and in their schools to find problems and create a project to solve that problem. Film a four minute video of their project and then submit it online to win some really fantastic prizes. So if you want to get involved, it closes on the 30th of September this year. In conclusion, we need to create multi-serving, easy to use devices as opposed to single serving devices. And we need to encourage kids to get involved in technology and to be consumers, no, to be creators of technology and not just consumers of technology. Thank you very much.